Mark Dawson. Welcome to the Valder BB Show. Thank you for being here. Glad to be here. Thank you. Well, you know, we love Halloween, but, you know, this is something different from homeowners. Give us the uh, your assessment behind the original creepy sounds and spooky, spooky smells coming from uh, malfunctioning <laughs> appliances. Yeah, so there's a lot of things, a lot of noises, a lot of smells in the home. Uh, so let's talk around <laughs> the electrical side of the house. So every once in a while, you may notice that you have flickering lights in the home. And, uh, and that's not a ghost over there at the light switch turning it on and off. It's just a power surge. Usually like when your HVAC system turns on or a large appliance turns on, the lights flicker. That's common. Don't worry about that. Uh, you can move on. However, if your lights are flickering and those things aren't running, then you may have a bigger issue that you want to have a professional come out and take a look at just to make sure you're safe and your family's safe. On the uh, plumbing side, right, we talk about smells. Well, you know, when your drain's draining and it's draining really slow and it's, it's kind of gurgling a little bit, making a little bit of noise, weird noise, well, usually that's uh, your air vent. So you have an air vent that goes through the roof of the house. It may be clogged or blocked in some way and that needs to be cleared so you have proper drainage. You need to have a professional do that. Do not get on the roof, uh, you know, and because uh, that's <laughs> dangerous. Uh, you don't want to fall off. And then the last but not least is on the uh, your HVAC system. So it's starting to get cold around the country, and so everybody's starting to kind of turn their heat on, maybe early in the morning just to knock the chill off. Uh, and so you may smell, if you have gas, you may smell a rotten egg smell. So if you, if you smell that, you want to have somebody come out and just double check that. That's natural gas. You just want to make sure you're safe uh, and, uh, and moving forward. So those are just some kind of the weird sounds and smells of the house uh, throughout the year. I want my audience to know that Mark Dawson is president and chief executive officer at Authority Brands Trade Brand. Mark, what are some of the do's and don'ts of um, just – Having a calm home, getting off this uh, uh, home repair roller coaster. Yeah, so it, so preventive maintenance is always important, right? So you always want to make sure that you have your uh, systems checked out, whether it be your plumbing, your electrical, or your HVAC uh, system. And so some of the things you're going to want to do in that process is uh, you want to want to have some just. Uh, basic check. So have someone come out now and check your furnace before you turn it on the first time. Make sure it's in proper working order. Or maybe uh, have your filters changed as, so you have good proper airflow. You may want to have a person come out and clean your air vents to make sure there's no dust and dirt up there that's blowing out into the air so you got a good clean air uh, as well. From a plumbing standpoint, you know, it gets a little cold uh, and so those exposed pipes uh, are in danger of breaking. You know, last year in February, uh, we had a big event in Texas where a lot of pipes fro froze. And so let's make sure those are protected and uh, we don't have an unexpected burst. And then last but not least, uh, on the electrical side, uh, let's make sure we check our smoke detectors, make sure they're in good working order in case there's any uh, fire in the house uh, during the holiday season. Okay, you know, those are some great ideas and some things. I'm going to take this one from Instagram. They want to know, when you go from season to season, such as summer to winter, should you uh, change your air filters out in your air conditioning unit? Absolutely. So there's actually we have a process where we can change those on a regular basis. And so you want to look at those really every month. Uh, just to make sure that they're not clogged. Uh, you, you know, a lot of pets in the ho in the home during the wintertime, hair gets clogged up in there. They don't uh, breathe as, as well as they should. So I would look at those on a regular basis. That's a great question. Yeah, that's a great answer for us. Where can my audience get some more information like that? You got, your company seems like you're a wealth of information. So visit our websites. Uh, so first is uh, onehourheatandair.com. Then we have BenjaminFranklinPlumbing.com. And then last is MrSparky.com. Well, we're familiar with all of those. I want to thank you for stopping by and help get us ready to think about fall and winter because it's coming. Thank you so very much, Mark Dawson. Thank you for having me. Have a great day. You too. Hey, I'm Valder Beebe. I broadcast on radio.
streaming TV, podcasts, and in print publications. I interviewed the world's most fascinating authors, all because I love a good book. This summer, I partnered with WPS for BB Summer Book Giveaway. We're giving away New York Times bestsellers and award-winning books, books that inspire me and I'm sure they'll inspire you. To be eligible to win a copy of Jesus Can Give You a New Life, answer this question. What is God's greatest gift to mankind? You'll find the answer in John 3.16 of the Bible. Send your response to the email at the bottom of the screen. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you for the next BB Summer Book Giveaway.